Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Okay, so following on from the create a reference box um, tutorial, we're going to start to model this now. So the way that we're going to model this is by using a plane. Um, hopefully by now you've already got a good re reference box and the references line up, um, which they should if you followed that tutorial. So now, yeah, we're going to start to model it, and like I've just mentioned, we're going to start off by using a plane, which is we're going to set it to one single poly, and we're going to start to model um, around the eye, and then kind of expand out uh, towards the nose area and the cheekbone, and then go down towards the lips, and then the chin, jawline, of course, the eyebrows, and the forehead. So to start this, you know, you, you can see I've got rid of the grids in my front view and in my left view. So the way you do that is if I just bring them back pretty quickly. It's pretty much the opposite of what I've just done. You go in the view that you want to remove the grid from, hit the little plus in the top left hand corner and you deselect show grids. There we have it, a much cleaner um, area. So, you know, because a human face is generally quite symmetrical, and we know that they're not, you know, most people's faces aren't 100% symmetrical, so, you know, you will need to edit it after you finish modeling and you use symmetry, you know, one half of the face onto the other. But for now, you're just going to be building half of the face and then duplicating it across. So the side that I'm going to be creating is the left side of, of her face because if you look on my left view I've got the left side of her face showing there. So I wouldn't want to model inside out by doing the right side of her face here but then following the left side there. So you want to make sure that you're building on the same side of her face that is visible on your side view as well. So the left side for me. So I'm going to zoom in around the eye and I'm just going to create a poly roughly where the eye is and then use that move tool just to pull it across a little bit straight away you'll probably notice that you know I've got loads of subdivisions in here I've got loads of different segments and actually I'm going to change the color of this so it makes it easier for you guys to see there you are I just want that to be like one one poly so I'm going to change the length segments and the width segments down to one And then I'm going to add an edit poly on that plane. I'm going to scroll up, go to vertex, because you know we're, we're going to use the vertex tool here just to start to line stuff up. And I'm just going to drag this in, drag that in like so. Like that. Deselect and I'm going to pull this forward to roughly where her eye is. So we can see that just around her eyelid, it, you know, it will go back slightly like that. I mean, if you feel your own eye, you can see how there is a kind of a bulge around your your eye bag, I guess. Um, so you want to make sure you kind of follow that. Also. You need to click on the outer two vertex points just here. I'm going to pull that back a little bit. And then you're going to start to kind of create that curb that goes around the eye. And then I'm just going to click on edge and then click on this um, outer edge just here. And I'm going to hold shift. And this is how you create a new polygon from one edge. So you hold shift and with the move tool you just kind of drag that new edge out. And again mine's going to be fairly low poly so I will kind of try and rush through this a little bit because you know YouTube doesn't let me load up an hour long video so I have to kind of rush them a little bit. And what you want to do is change the angle of this edge here so it kind of goes around like this so it's going to kind of point so if I just continue and do that hopefully you, you kind of get it when, once I get around to doing it all 
here again, just going to pull this up a little bit, like so, let me pull that in. There's one kind of really important factor which I've not mentioned, uh, and I'm going to have to start to use it, is, you know, to be able to see through my, my model, I want to be able to see the reference box through the model, so the way that you make your model semi-transparent is Alt and X. So you just press Alt and X on the keyboard and you can see how I can kind of toggle between semi-transparent and solid. So ensure it's semi-transparent and then you can continue kind of lining this up. continue on around the other side of the eye. Again, I'm just going to really quickly create these polys, I'm going to edit them now. So I'm going to start to kind of push them, line them up a little better. Don't forget to line them up in this view too. Um, the important thing that you should be doing at this stage is making sure that it curves in as it goes towards the center. And if, again, if you feel around your eye, it will it goes in back towards you know the inside, I guess. So as you're doing this, you want to start pulling it in, and you can use the top view uh, for this just to create that curve. It is really useful to kind of use the top view. I know you don't have a reference image, but you kind of get an idea of what, what the curve should look like. And then you can tweak it as you kind of go along with it. So that's, that's okay to start with. And then just going to continue on and go around the top. Just, just pull that out a little bit, just to make it a bit more accurate. I'm starting off really slow with this tutorial because it's you know it's quite a new skill and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with by going too quickly but as I kind of progress through the next parts I will start to speed up um, else I'd probably have about 100 parts to this uh, tutorial on just the head so I will start to speed up a little bit and you know hopefully you know as I speed up you guys will speed up too it just takes practice and, but you will get there, you will kind of understand, you will get it. So the more you push yourself, the better it will be as well. So you, you can see that I'm only kind of lining it up in my top view at the moment. In my front view, sorry, not in my top view. Um, but you know, now I've got a bit of an issue. I, I want to kind of connect this edge to, to that edge there. So the way that I do that is, I can use target weld. So for this one, I'm going to go into Edge, just scroll down, click Target Weld, and then I'm going to click on this edge, and you can see how it's got a dotted line, and then I'm going to select this edge, just here, and that's attached that. And then with Vertex, I'm just going to kind of go in and just curve that out again. You know, you could use Edge as well if you find that easier, just to select an edge, and then just pull it back slightly like so and then you see you kind of have a rough I know it looks kind of odd at the moment but don't worry as soon as you start to um, get this lined up and it, you know, it starts looking better um, once you add more geometry and stuff it will look loads better so don't worry so with the next tutorial I'm going to cover how to kind of expand from this sort of first eye area uh, the eye bag and the eyelid and I'm going to be moving a lot quicker. So, see you in my next video.